Hey, what's up, guys? It's David here, and we're going to be starting our Resident Evil Remake Let's Play. Resident Evil. Today, we're going to be starting a Let's Play, and it's going to be on the hardest difficulty. We're going to be using the original controls, and we're going to be using Jill. I genuinely think Jill is just a better character. She not only has more carrying slots... But, I mean, she also makes for a bit more of a harder difficulty because Chris takes more damage or less damage and Jill takes more damage. So if you play on the hardest difficulty and you're playing as Jill, you're going to be taking the most damage as possible. So, kind of stacks. So. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission? Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. You would think they added trackers Bravo teams on people like that when they sent in people for missions they didn't know about. Like, they didn't know what was going on, and there was people that were murdering in groups of ten. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Dude, rest in peace, Kevin. No offense, but if your name is Kevin, and you're in a zombie apocalypse, we continue I kind of expect you to die. Members, and it turned into... How does Wesker see at night? I don't understand. That man is wearing sunglasses. Like, he's got the drip, but that man is wearing sunglasses in the middle of the night with, like, no visibility because there's fog as well. Jill looks so good in this game. They did the models for this remake really well. Except for Joseph. Joseph's just the side character. Huh. Got him. <sighs> See, I told you he was a side character. That guy sucks. Doesn't piece my guy Joseph. But once again, if your name is Joseph in a zombie apocalypse, I expected you to die. Jill, how did you miss all of those shots? I just want to know. This, she went to training. And like, what, what, probably, let's assume like eight weeks of training? You're telling me you can't shoot a single dog? And then Chris one-shots it? Come on, Jill, Come step on. up your game. You got plot armor, you good. Chris, this way. See, I told you plot armor. Oh, that's that's the man Barry. That is the man Barry. I saw him. Look look at all of them taking shots. Jill not only missed all of her shots, but in between the time that the dog wasn't attacking her, she didn't reload. So she could have been helping, but no, she's running away. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. How'd you lose Chris? Y'all just ran into the mansion together. What is this place? I think it's a mansion. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. No, I, I think it's a mansion. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. The original line go. is way better. I'll secure this area. Barry literally straight up goes, Stay No, sharp. I want to go. He is my old partner, you know. 
Come on, that line is so much better. If you're gonna have cheesy, corny lines, make them the cheesiest and corniest they can get. Come on. And yeah, I still haven't seen you reload your gun, Jill. What are you doing? A dining room. Dude, look at the way my man Barry walked. That man has straight swag. All right. I think you'd better take a look at this. Uh, should I? What should is I? it? Blood. <laughs> no, you just that. That's probably Jill, jam. You said it was a diamond room, clues. so. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Dude. I'd be really sad if Chris lost his jam. He was supposed to give me some at lunch. Alright, let's go find let's go find our victim of who lost the jam. Any jam spots over here? Dude, you're dripping the jam everywhere. Come on, at least eat with some etiquette. Dude, Barry, deal with this guy. This man doesn't even know how to eat properly. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! Dude, that was a magnum. How did it take what more than one shot thing? to kill that zombie? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Dude, that, that must have been Kenneth's jam. I'm so sorry, Kenneth, you lost your jam. So you're telling me he still didn't even kill that zombie? The zombie just walked up from three magnum shots? If you know this game, you know that that magnum is the strongest pistol in the game. And he just walked away from that. That 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 zombie right there, that Wesker. zombie scares me, okay? That is a Karen at Walmart right there. Yeah, if that zombie walked in while I was working small. at Walmart, I would literally go ahead and get my manager because I know that zombie was going straight for him anyways. And now Wesker's missing. Now we got to find him. Dude, everyone's missing their jam. Dude, Barry, I looked everywhere. I'm so sorry. I, I spent... So much time. Countless hours. Countless hours looking for them. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No. Nothing. That's what I What's said. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris and now Wesker. Same here. There's not much we can do. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? We'll search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. Dude, I'll try the door you the just want to get some alone time with that jam. I bet you're going to make yourself a sandwich. Easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. What's that even supposed to mean? Thanks. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. All right. Got it? Got it. Okay. Okay. My name's Jill, and I don't even know how to reload my gun. I know you just told me to check out the other door, but uh, I kind of want some jam too. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna come into the dining room myself. Dude, he's not even here. That man took a jar of jam. He probably jarred that jam up, took the jam, ran away with it, bro. Mary, please leave me some. Come on. Dude, RP Kenneth. RIP Kenneth. Does he not have anything on him? Oh, the corpse of your Conrad Kenneth. Kenneth? Kenneth. Kenneth. Dude, your your new name is Kenneth, okay? Looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kemeth. 
I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Yeah. No use crying over spilt milk. I really do wonder where Barry went. Like, <laughs> where did he go? He said he was going to the dining room. We watched him walk into the dining room. And then he proceeded to just disappear? Like, question mark? That man said, this is Skyrim. I'm going to go kill a dragon. Walked off with everything. At least give me your magnum if you're not going to stay. Come on, my guy. All right. All right. I got to weave this guy. All right, Walter. Listen, Walter. I need 100% weavability. Okay, if you hit me... You don't want to know what happens. Ah, Walter! Dude, that's it. Your mom's dead. That's it. Your mom is totally dead. We got that ammo? Dude, no! Oh, I'm literally getting killed. Oh, wow, wow, we woo. So after that fiasco, I replayed back up to this point, and now we're back here with Walter. And we're gonna do the tango again, except for this time he's not gonna grab me, as you can see. Then we're gonna grab this arrow, okay? Pro 100% strats, 100% focus, okay? We grab that arrow, we're gonna go straight for the ammo, okay? We're gonna back up. That man is still gonna grab me. Weave. Weave. Ah, dude! Okay, okay, okay. Walter didn't eat me, though. Dude, get off of me. You did not have to munch me three times. Okay. That is really bad. I got orange. Orange health already. Okay. Look, I'm amazing at this game. Dude. I'm... I'm so sad. That. I just picked up a dagger. That's what we call a defensive item. So basically, if I would have had that in that situation, he would have never bit me because I basically would have taken the dagger and stabbed the side of his face with Mr. Stabby. They call me Mr. Stabby. I look a little crabby. Mm. I had to juke that zombie real quick. If that zombie would have... He would have bit me. Basically, if I take any form of damage right now, I'm immediately dead. No, Jill. Come on. Push the statue off. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. I, I'm debating if I should go back down there and get those two herbs. Um. I don't know when I get healing next. So, dumb. I'm gonna go get those herbs and then I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back and I got those herbs so I can heal myself since I'm completely garbage at this game. I mean. Hey man. It is what it is. So, we got that herb. And if I remember, we got the arrow, so. Yeah, so we got the arrow. So if we examine this arrow and we take the tip of the head off we can use that to come unlock this door over here and we're just gonna uh, take no chances so bye bye zombie bob zombie bob dude put a shirt on i see you back there you're not slick so if we put this arrow in the cupid's ha arrow uh-huh see what i did there but uh if we put that in there this like tombstone thing opens and then We'll, uh, we will have access to the tombstone of hell. I wonder if little Nas X is down here. Oh, that's him in there. Him, him and Satan are sleeping in there. Huh. All right. So we got the book of curse, and we're gonna examine this book.
You got the mansion key. Book of Curses. Alright, what's it say? Book of Curses. The four mask. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, and a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Alright, so that must mean that we have to get the four masks that each correspond with those four different attributes and place them on these faces. Uh, and I think that'll just wrap it about for this uh, episode. Uh, if you made it this far, like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.